Hey, welcome back to Gang of North of Seven. Today I'm not cutting wood, I'm not splitting wood, I'm not fixing ATVs. My wife has been hounding me to clean the dryer vent duct, so that's what I'm doing today. So I pulled the dryer out and the washer, and you know how you get a bit, bit of lint around the floors and stuff like that, so I vacuumed it all out ahead of time. And uh, we're going to take a look and see what's uh, causing the lid to fly out in the backyard. I'm going to show you in a second. So there's the dryer duct that comes outside the exterior wall. And if you can see there on the ground, you see those black specks. That's lint. So I saw that lint back there, and my wife saw it first, actually. She showed it to me, and uh, I figure, okay, the duct needs to be cleaned out. The hose from the dryer to the wall duct needs to be cleaned. So that's what we're going to do today. So why would we want to clean that? Well, because if you have an excess built up of lint in there and you have a lot of hot air going through there, it could cause a fire. Plus, if it's clogged up really good, the air is not leaving that hose. Your clothes isn't going to dry as good as you want them to dry. You're always going to feel a little bit damp. So you always want to clean the lint out of there, but first you want to clean the lint catcher inside your dryer. So what, we, what you do is right here is your lint, lint catcher, and this will build up with lint all inside that screen, inside here, right inside that pocket. And even check in here, you could even clean inside there too as well. If you see any lint in there, just run your vacuum through it. And there's a bit of a screen here on the inside as well. Just run the vacuum across these here. You should do that every time you run your dryers. Check that lint catcher. But back here is where you want to pull your dryer out away from the wall. This, is, this here will get clogged up a lot with lint. And surprisingly, this one isn't bad at all. I think you can see that. It's not bad at all. It does have some lint built up on the bottom. We'll clean that out. We'll clean those louvers back there on the vent cover. But this hose here that's hooked up to the dryer, these can build up and you can see a bit of lint in there. It's not bad at all. I'm surprised there's so much that is outside. But I'm going to take this off and I'll clean the hose out that good. And if you wreck this hose or it gets too built up with lint inside, you can always go get a piece at your local hardware store and just change it. You can cut it to size. They come with clamps, so you just remove the clamps, put them on the next hose, and tighten it up here, not too tight, and tighten up the other end right here. Now one thing I like to mention before I get started cleaning my duct and that hose here, now you may have a duct work that goes down to a, another floor, it may go up, it may be quite long, and are, has curves, so you're going to need something else to clean that dryer vent duct. Now this tool I want to share with you is called a duct cleaning kit. And so what it is, is you get a bunch of rods up to like 24 feet or something. And they all screw into each other, they're flexible. And you hook one end of the rod to a cordless drill. And at the other end is a brush. And you, you work it into the duct. Like I say, if you may have 10 feet of duct, you can work it into the duct while spinning and that brush is going around and cleaning all your duct vent. And you can work it in, you can keep adding attachments to it that just screws on, it, it rotates clockwise, and that brush can work all the way through that duct work and it really works well for cleaning all that lint out of there. Some even come with a vacuum line on it to suck the, you hook it up to a shop vac and it'll suck up all the lint. So I'll put a link down below to two different models, maybe just one down in the description below where you can go check that out on Amazon. But for mine, we don't need that tool because mine just goes from the wall straight outside and you know, it's only this much, this far to go. So I'm just gonna vacuum out in there. I may need to get a brush in there and clean it up a little bit and we'll clean that hose up and we'll be all done.
right, so I cleaned the duct out that goes outside. It was pretty clean, like it wasn't bad. It could use a little cleaning. And in here was spotless pretty much. Wasn't much in there at all. So really it wasn't that bad, but just the same, you want to have it clean. And from the look of the lint that was out in the backyard, I guess maybe some just broke loose from when my wife cleans or empties out the lint catcher when she does her drying. So a little bit of must have broke out, broke loose and made its way outside. So we'll put this hose back on, we'll tighten up the clamp. That's good, you don't have to over tighten it, it won't come off. I'll hook this end up here to the duct that goes outdoors. I have to push a dryer in as close as I can so I can stretch it out and tighten it up. And then we'll take another quick look inside the dryer underneath the lint catcher. So I put the hose back over the duct and I'll snug up this clamp. Okay, this is what I found down right inside here. And that thing was there like a small animal, <laughs> a big pile of lint. So that didn't help. And that's probably what is flying outside, just pieces at a time are going outside. So like I said, that vacuum hose I saw on Amazon would be perfect for this job. Be perfect for cleaning that out. Well, that's another job behind us. I hope this dryer vent duct cleaning helps you out. Remember, you don't want this to clog up and cause a fire. And it also will cause your dryer to work harder. You'll wear your dryer out quicker. Your clothes won't dry and it's just a waste of time, right? So just get the lint cleaned out. Always clean your lint catcher, pull the lint catcher out, clean below the lint catcher and clean the duct that goes towards outside. And don't forget to go look at those products for helping you clean your duct and also cleaning your dryer. They'll be down below in the description. And if this video helped you, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.